Hey guys, what's going on? So, I see a lot of videos with uh, five things I hate about my car, five things I love about my car, but. So I've had the Genesis for about a little over a year. And there have been some things I've done that I pretty much regret. So this is a video for five things I regret doing to my Genesis. So, first thing, <clears throat> see if we can go look at it, <clears throat> is removing the grill. I removed this grill, and I removed these front bezels. Uh, pretty much I did it because I thought you could see the piping more, but you can't since it's black anyways. And the grill, even though you can see the intercooler, it basically leaves it open for rocks, which it really isn't that bad, but it's pretty, this intercooler is pretty new still, so I'm pretty sure eventually I'll get some rock jammed into there. Uh, let's see here, the second thing is Plasti Dip. So, a while ago I was at a friend's garage and we decided to uh, plastic dip some things. I just now recently decided to remove all the plastic dip. I have the door handles done black, the gas cap done black. There's still some plastic dip on there, which is uh, pretty much a bad idea because it ruins your uh, radio reception. My girl bitches about it all the time. So I'll remove that here eventually. And I also did. The front chrome which is not too bad but you can see the chips are kind of nicking into it here and here so that'll probably come off eventually the third thing is my sticker wall uh, if you don't know what a sticker wall is basically on a lot of cars a lot of hondas and not everybody else they'll throw stickers all the way down their windshield and mine was from the top all the way down to the bottom uh, we recently removed all that with the Plasti Dip. As you can tell, there's still some residue here. I need to get that off some more. And, yeah, uh, there weren't stickers. Like, I had some part stickers, but it was mostly just, like, bullshit stickers. Like, I had one that said, big fucking sticker. And it was, like, a huge-ass fucking blue sticker. Like, three times the size of anything else I had on there. Uh, I had your VTEC, made me RF, ROFL. So it was just basically a bunch of funny shit, I thought, but I eventually got tired of it, and of course, all my friends always make fun of me for it, so. So that was, I, I finally got over that and decided to remove it. Uh, that was, I can't remember which one it was. Okay, let's see here, we did Plasti Dip stickers the grill so number four so number four was removing the badges I got a little too impatient with it and used something that was a little bit too sharp if you can tell I got scratches in my bumper my back trunk which eh, I mean it really doesn't affect me I don't care but you know it just kind of it's sad. And then number five. What was number five? Oh, yeah. Number five was more of money. I wouldn't say I regret doing it, but money could have been spent better at the time. Was a mod to the engine. Pop this up real quick. Take a look at the engine. So, the one thing I regret doing is the throttle body spacer right here. I also got plenum spacer for the intake manifold and the BK1 aluminum manifold. So I had the throttle body spacers and the manifold all port and polished, which in all reality, I could have spent that money somewhere else, probably getting some better tires, some drag radials. 
but I don't think the port and polish actually does that much of an effect so yeah I probably could have spent some more money in a better areas I guess you could say but anyways I guess that's about it I'll probably try to think of something else to do with the Genesis I don't know work's been crazy I don't get a lot of off time or when I do I spend it playing video games so I guess that's about it I think it does look better now without the plastic dip just the all red so yeah if you guys like it subscribe comment do whatever um uh, you know not a lot of followers so any comments i'm able to reply back i don't care any input anything anyways i guess that's about it